All right, so I'm going to go over Shatter one more time, um, just for those who might have missed it the first time or wanted to go over it again. All right, so I've got my word Shatter. I'm going to apply the Shatter effect to it. All right, so first thing I want to do is change the shape. I want to make lots of repetitions because I want it to break into lots of little pieces. And I think I'm going to change the uh, pattern to something else. Let's do triangles one. Now keep in mind that the more repetitions you do, the longer it's going to take to render. Um, let's see what this looks like in rendered view. Lots of little tiny tiny triangles. Okay, that's fine with me. I don't want it to extrude so much, so I'm going to take the extrusion depth down to maybe 0.05. That's a little better. Um, okay, and remember that you need a force in order to shatter something. Because something has to hit your um, your text or your image or whatever it is. Something has to hit it in order for it to shatter. By default, um, After Effects has already sort of animated this for you because it's placed the force at a depth of 0.1, and that intersects the plane of of your um, object. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to animate this word shattering from left to right. In order to do that, I have to take the radius down. And you can see the radius uh, in wireframe view. OK, so the radius is down. I'm going to animate the position. I'm going to have the force animate from left to right, shattering the word as we go. So. I'm going to click on the crosshairs here, move my playhead over, and I'm just going to pull this over, click and drag, click and drag, click and drag. Did I not actually set, oh, I didn't set my keyframe. Okay, well, that's important. Don't do what I did. Set your keyframe, now drag it back over. All right, well, that's good enough. There we go. There we go. Now you can see the wireframe of what that's supposed to look like. Um, let's go to rendered view and make sure that we're actually shattering everything we want to shatter. There we go, shatter. All right, so now you can do a, diff a number of different things with this. Um, under physics, the pieces don't always have to go down. They can go up. They can go to the left. They can go to the right. Um, right now, gravity direction is set at 180 degrees. When it's set at 180 degrees, that means it's going to go down. 90 degrees means that it's going to go. The pieces are going to go to the right. 270 degrees, and the pieces will go to the left. And at zero degrees, the pieces will go up. I'm going to set these at zero because I don't really want them to go down necessarily. And I'm going to take down the gravity. I'm going to maybe make it at mm, 0.5, see what that does. And let's do a RAM preview. Okay, eh, not too bad. The pieces kind of, in my opinion, they float off to the right a little too far, so I'm going to take down the strength. Maybe they won't fly off so far. Eh, now that looks a little weird. Mm, let's see, I'm going to take up the randomness. Looks a little better. And rotation speed. Okay. So I'm just going to scrub through so I can see this a little better. Yep, 
Okay, and at this point, I think I'm going to want them to start to disappear because I don't want to have to wait for, I don't know, however many seconds for them to dissipate. So right about here, I'm just going to turn on opacity and I'm going to do a two second um, opacity change. Okay, so that's Shatter.